In this video I'm going to show you how to implement HTML5 boilerplate into your PHP project. I'm going to talk about the build script um, because out of the box it doesn't work with PHP. You have to set some uh, some things. So over here I got a, a basic PHP project. Uh, I got a, lo a, a lot of um, MVC files to, uh, to build the application. And right now it's really simple. I got a, a couple of views and it, uh, it displays those views. That, that's, right now that's the only thing it does. Um, and what we want to do with build script is optimize those uh, view files. Because we, we don't uh, get a lot of um, profit by minifying uh, PHP files that just stay on the server. So over here we got, um, got the view files. As you can see, I got a comment over here. That's just for uh, to show the example. Uh, this is the like the, the content part, and this is the footer part. Uh, here I, I echo something out. So uh, uh, because because it's PHP and views normally um, uh, carry PHP uh, vars or or whatever. So uh, let's try to build this project out of the box with uh, the build script out of the box. Um, to check if it works. Yeah, here it says build failed. Yeah, what I did, uh, I haven't told yet, but uh, I'll tell you now. Uh, I have a static uh, a folder and I pushed all my, my JavaScript and my, my uh, images and CSS. Uh, the, the same way they were on the root of the, the default boilerplate. I push them in a static folder so to, to separate my PHP from my non-PHP files. Uh, so we can fix this real easily by going into the build folder, config and uh, project properties. And uh, over here we got uh, dear js and if we change that to static js, normally it's, it's just js because it's the, the folder js on the root of the project. Now I, I, I put it for static. We don't have to change those because those are relative to DRJS. And uh, they are the same over here. And this one is static CSS. And this one is static image. Okay, so let's save it and try to build again. Okay, build successful, so let's check it out in the browser. This is the normal page. Uh, uh, this is the normal page, not, not the published version. As you can see, we got the comment over here, and this part around here is the, is the header, this is the, this is the form, and this is the footer. Okay, so let's check if the published version, which contains in the, in the publish folder, is on, no, it, stuff's not working. So if we check over here, we see the comment is still here, and uh, and the layout is fucked. But but first, let's focus on the comments because that means the uh, the whole view folder isn't uh, isn't optimized yet. Nothing nothing is changed. So let's fix that over here in the same uh, file. Over here we got uh, file pages. Those are the pages that that uh, will be optimized. So as I said, I have everything in, in the views folder over here. So I just do views wildcard, and th this means everything in the views folder. So let's build again. Okay, the layout is still. Uh, oh, it's still busy. Yeah, build successful. Okay, the layout still still is not working, but the comment is is fixed, and uh, we have some optimization. Yeah, it's really minor, but, but uh, it's a really small example project to show uh, you how it worked. So uh, the layout is, is not working. So what's wrong with the layout? We have a reference to the style sheet, and it's not working, it says. So let's check in the, in the publish folder. Publish. Yeah, it... it Create a, uh, a um, the published version isn't using uh, style.css anymore because uh, it, it used version uh, version names and why that's useful and, and why not is explained on the uh, the HTML5 boilerplate website. But how to fix this? Uh, we don't want to uh, reference uh, the, to this file uh, at all because this gets changed on every uh, every launch. 
so basically I found over here over here I found some notes and here it said uh, when the build script changes your uh, your references uh, it looks for for those comments and between those comments it'll um, update the reference as well so not just so it, it updates the file name and the reference if the reference is between those comments so I prepared some uh, example code over here so if you go to the header where CSS is we change it with this so uh, the, the link is the same I only added some comments above and below it uh, so, the, so the build script knows between the uh, b between those tags, it can uh, can look for a reference and fix it. And we also need to do that for all our uh, JS files, which is only one because uh, HTML5 boilerplate combines everything into one file. So we change that over here. And let build it. Let's build it again. Let's see what it does now. Yeah, build successful, it says again. So, uh, if you refresh it now, uh, everything is fine. It fixed uh, uh, the reference to the, the style sheet without us uh, be ha have to manually fix it every time we, we uh, uh, run the build script because, because that's like the defeat the whole point of using a build script uh, in the first place. It also referenced this and it's minified, so uh, everything's great. So the, uh, that's about this. The, the, those are the three problems I faced when implementing uh, the boilerplate into my project. I hope you can uh, you, you won't have to mistake make the same mistakes I did. So uh, here you go.